I'm about to go in for my first exam of the day. It's a little bit tough to film um, my patient encounters because of HIPAA, um, but I am happy to kind of show you little shorts, um, little bits and pieces of kind of what my day is like and how, uh, what the patient encounters are like. Um, but on an average, so today is a Saturday, so I really only work um, the morning from 9 to around a little before noon usually is when I get done. Um, so typically that's about like 9 to 10 patients that I'm seeing and a lot of them are coming in for, you know, contact lens or just regular eye exams. Uh, very rarely will I see like an emerging case on a Saturday, so today is a very typical um, primary care day. And so, yeah. I have a lot of friends and family around me who ask me if it's important to get annual eye exams even if they have nothing wrong with their vision. And the answer is yes, you definitely should because you may be surprised by how much your eyes can reveal about your health and well-being. According to the American Optometric Association, also known as the AOA, about 164 million U.S. adults wear eyeglasses or contact lenses to correct their vision. If you're one of them, you should get your prescription checked regularly just to make sure it's up to date and accurate. Your eyes can change over time and wearing the wrong prescription can cause headaches, eye strain, and blurred vision. In addition to correcting vision, an annual eye exam can help detect, diagnose, and treat eye disorders. Some common eye diseases include glaucoma, a condition that damages the optic nerve and can cause blindness if left untreated. Glaucoma often has no symptoms in the early stages, so regular screening is essential. Also cataracts, a clouding of the lens of the eye that affects vision. Cataracts are more common in older adults, but can also occur in younger people due to trauma. Macular degeneration, a deterioration of the central part of the retina that affects your detail and sharp vision. And macular degeneration is the leading cause of vision loss in people over 60 and can be slowed down with early intervention. Also, diabetic retinopathy, a complication of diabetes that damages the blood vessels in the retina and can also lead to vision loss. Diabetic retinopathy can be prevented or controlled with good blood sugar levels and, of course, regular eye exams. Many eye diseases have no obvious signs or symptoms until they cause irreversible damage. That's why it's important to get your eyes checked every year by an optometrist or an ophthalmologist who can spot any signs of trouble and provide treatment options for you. Your eyes are not only the windows to your soul, but also to your health. An eye exam can reveal a lot about your overall health conditions, such as whether you have diabetes, which is high blood sugar levels that can affect the blood vessels in your eyes and can cause changes in your vision or even your eye health. An optometrist can detect signs of diabetes in your eyes before you really experience any other symptoms. Also, high blood pressure levels. High blood pressure can also damage the blood vessels in your eyes and increase your risk of glaucoma, a stroke, or even a heart attack. And an optometrist can measure your blood pressure and refer you to a doctor if it's too high. Also, autoimmune disease screenings. Some autoimmune diseases such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis can cause inflammation in your eyes and affect your vision or your eye comfort. An optometrist can diagnose these conditions and recommend treatment or referral. And this doesn't happen as often, but there has been cases where optometrists have also been able to detect cancer. The reason for this is because some cancers, such as leukemia or lymphoma, can affect the blood cells in your eyes and cause changes in your vision or eye appearance. So an optometrist can detect these abnormalities and refer you to a specialist for further evaluation. All this information is really just to tell you that an eye exam is not just about your eyes or glasses or contact lenses, but also about your whole body. An optometrist can spot clues that indicate a potential health problem and help you get the care you need. 
If you've had an eye exam yourself, you'll know that optometrists check a lot more than just your refractive error. We like to do things like the cover test to check for your eye alignment, confrontational visual fields that allow us to grossly examine your side vision to make sure that um, there isn't any side vision loss. We also like to check the muscles of your eyes to make sure that the muscles are healthy and intact and able to move comfortably. Of course, we also do a slit lamp exam with our microscope to check for any changes going on in the front of the eyes. And then we move on to check the back of the eyes to check for any holes or tears, bleeds, changes in the back of the eye that can indicate um, any kind of a health issue or just an eye issue itself. I personally am a huge fan of doing retinal photos. Nowadays, the equipment and technology has gotten so much better, and it allows us to really visualize the entire retina and thoroughly evaluate and check for any holes or tears, areas that may uh, require further evaluation or uh, further monitoring. I also love to spend a couple extra minutes at the end of the exam answering any questions that my patients may have regarding their eye health and their vision. Day of clinic is always nice because even when I get home it's not late in the evening it's probably a little past noon and I'm still able to run errands and do other activities including having friends over like we are doing today a friend of ours has kindly offered to cook a home-cooked dinner for us and so she'll be bringing over the food and we'll have our friends joining us um, at our house I'm currently obsessed with these eucalyptus leaves and adding them to our dining table. Also like to add a little bit of scent. And here's our setup. Mm -hmm. 